We're starting the new season with a massive, massive decision to make. As it was going into the new season, an offer just came in for Blake Bolton. 332 million for Bolton from Manchester City. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Sign the contract, big boy. Sign the contract. <laughs> A player that scored 27 goals for us, 23 in the Premier League. Are we actually going to end up selling our hero, our hometown hero? In all honesty, I think this is what this series needs. As good as Blake Bolton is, that cash from one player could improve our team tenfold. And I think I'm going to make that heavy call of selling Blake Bolton. Oh my god, and for Man City to be the team to get him, just unreal. We'll accept the offer and see how this goes. It's done. It's freaking done. Man City weren't messing about. It's done. Blake Bolton has been sold before the season even begins. Manchester City have signed and we've sold our hero. Oh my god. I didn't expect this. I know you guys didn't expect this. Blake Bolton's gone. It's a bit sad. We'll, we'll remember him. What a legend. We will remember him. But of course, I'm not closing the door on a future return. Once we've got maybe a team set up and all the Champions League money coming in, I want to bring him back. But until then, it's goodbye, Blake Bolton. Okay, so it's now time for the brand new season and there is so much to do. First of all, look at the budget the board's given us. I'm so glad we made the tough decision to sell Bolton because 15 million... How on earth are we going to improve the Harrogate team with that money? It's virtually impossible, guys. So we need the cash from, of course, you know, Blake Bolton's sale. And it was it was a necessary evil, you could call it. We have to do it. And I'm simming now and he's going to go. Bolton departs to Manchester. It's done. Had to be done, I feel. And now look at our budget. Up to three hundred million to spend boys oh boy i don't know if we made the right call or not but i think it was necessary it was necessary let me know in the comments what you would have done all right boys first of all this is the team we're gonna work with now blake bolton's gone we now need to collectively come together and step up big time because yeah we blake bolton carried us on a few different occasions he was great but in all honesty we need to now figure out a way how to play without him we've got the money to make the signings and let Let's start doing so. Who do we sign to replace Blake Bolton is the big question. Where else can we improve in midfield? We've got 300 million guys. So expect to see some superstar signings. Like 100% we're going to spend big. Yo, where do we begin spending this 300 million? I'm thinking we need a better center back because Savage, not too short about that. We'll do that right now. Let's bring in a center back and I've got an idea. I want to sign a fair few English players, man. So I'm thinking, why not sign Fikayo Tomori in his prime? I think it won't be that expensive. I mean, he will be expensive, but not that expensive. And we'll still have a good chunk of money left to improve the team elsewhere. I think I'm doing this, boys. We're going to try and sign Tomori. This is the first time in this series we're going to be spending cash like this. I'm excited. Selling Blake Bolton has definitely made the story a lot more different. Well, um, 60 million. Klopp has just laughed me out of the room. We're going to have to negotiate again. Now, although we've got unlimited funds, not unlimited, 300 million, free agents. You just never know if there are any ballers in here. Okay, why can't I read anyone's name? There are a couple of good free agents, scouting them and seeing what's up. For now, though, I just want to get through that Tomori deal. All right, this time, let's not mess with Liverpool. Let's go in with some decent offer. They know we've got a huge cash injunction from, of course, selling our hero, Blake Bolton. We'll start with 64 million for Tomori. They just count with 98.5. Wow. Okay, Klopp is not having it at all. Let's go with 73.5 is our next offer. They want 100 million for Tomori. Is that some sort of a joke? Honestly. What about 80 million? 80 million for Fikayo Tomori. Wow, that works. Okay, now we'll take it. All right, let's try and get him on a decent, favorable contract. A signing like this could propel us to, of course winning the Premier League in the future. So that's what I'm hoping for. Going to give him a £120,000 uh, per week deal. Will he accept it directly? He will. Tomori, sign. All right, boys. Now that's what I'm talking about. Putting Tomori in that starting 11 does 
look fantastic. We still need improvements elsewhere. Probably a better left back could really help us out in the midfield, down the wings. There's just so much to do. Okay, guys, I think Juan Carlos Acuna, the Chilean, 82 rated free agent. I think he's Alexis Sanchez's regen. Yo, I wouldn't mind signing him as a backup option or even as a starter if we convert him to a center forward. I think he'd be a baller, you know. Let's do this. Let's do this for free. Nothing to lose. Plus, we do need a bit of squad depth. And could he be the man to eventually replace Blake Bolton? I very much doubt it. But as an option up top, not too bad. He wants a crucial role as well. Okay, now, five-year deal. We'll work with it. This is what I'm offering him. 60000 per week, the free agent. And he accepts it. Let's see this kid, man. What are his stats looking like? Oh, he is insane, you know. What if we convert him to a striker? I'll take 51 weeks. Are you kidding me? But still, it's okay. He can still play as a center forward, be on the bench at the very least. Don't mind that. That's a top class signing. Take a look at this. Emil Smith Rowe's contract's expiring. I don't think I can pass up on this. We need to make this count. He'd be such an upgrade over Diamond in that left midfield position. And Diamond can be on the bench adding squad depth. His contract's expiring, which means I reckon we can get him for like 43 million or something like that. Will that work? Let's go. That's a deal. We need these kind of deals, man. Let's go. Emil Smith Rowe for 43 million is an absolute bargain. Improves our team so freaking much. Uh, what just happened here? Gonna have to just negotiate the contract manually because something weird happened there. All right, let's give him important squad role, which he won't accept. He wants crucial. Fair enough. For your deal as well, disregarding release clauses. Let's give him the 80,000 he's getting pretty much at Arsenal. That should be enough. There you go. Bang. We've just signed Emil Smith Rowe. All right, boys. Talk about squad depth improving Smith Rowe this season. Tomori signed as well. Don't you forget Acuna is coming as well, which we'll, you know, use him instead of Armstrong for now. I love it. I absolutely love the signings we've made. But guys, I'll keep the other signings for the next episode because I want to read through your comments. We're still left with about 150 million good amount of wage budget we need to probably sign a striker a midfielder could help a fullback lots to do and i need your help in the comments okay so we start the season against coventry city there's no way i'm playing that let's play the game against chelsea and we do end up beating coventry good start to the prem then no blake bolton this season a bit of a different vibe a lot of new players harrogate town is a completely different club right now let's do this that's what our team's gonna look like new signing to Mori, Smithro, and of course, Acuna all playing. Let's do this. It's gonna be a different vibe, man, without Blake Bolton. Surely is, but I think this was necessary. What do you guys think? I just genuinely feel like this, at this point in this series, was like our only hope of like progressing. It's something all clubs in real life have got to go through. And we did as well. Taking the corner shot for a sense here to potentially Easy. call this one in. Oh, the deflection. And Ray Menard just claiming it. I think it came off him. What a start. Harrogate Town lead 1-0 against Chelsea. And that is the luckiest goal I think we'll score in a long, long time. Yo, I need another look at this. What happened here? Asensio, bang, goes for goal. Just comes off Ray Menard's chest. And I think he was kept onside. We'll take it. One more thing. When you sell a big player like that, others tend to step up. It becomes more of a collective effort. Already, I think we're seeing that here. We're beating Chelsea right now. Oh, this is bad. Mason Mount. Mason Mount looks for that pass for Timo Werner. Oh, that was dirty. That was absolutely dirty from Werner and Cole. Fair play. Chelsea back in it. This kid right here is the one I'm most excited about, but he just gets taken out by Conte there. But yeah, I want to see what Acuna can do because he is, I think by all accounts, the regen of Alexis Sanchez. So, yeah, super excited to see what he's all about. Oh, there's way too much space. Way too much space, Mountain. Chelsea is still Chelsea, and yeah, it's not gonna be easy. 2-1 down. We got opened up way too easily there. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Gulaxi with a very good save. Oh, one again. This is oh bad. This is bad. Oh, we get an absolutely hell. slapped out here. What's wrong with you? I think more than the player changes, there's something wrong with the formation we're using. It's just too basic. Let's try something like this. Maybe put instructions for our wingers to get in behind and stuff and just see how this works. Like, honestly, we need to try out something different because we can't keep getting outplayed like this. A few moments later. Oh, this is getting ugly for us, man. What is this? We just can't compete against Chelsea. 4-1 down now. Looking for Emil smith -Rowe. Inside for Ray Monarch. That's our chance. And he's managed to get us a goal back. This has been like 
Like, I don't even know what kind of a game this is. Like, like 4-2 in the first half itself. We get a goal back at least. Oh, that's a lovely pass inside for Kante. Now, Werner, like, I just don't know what to do against this passing from Chelsea. It's unplayable. <laughs> I don't even know how we're going to score three goals in the second half. Like, honestly, I just have no freaking idea. No Blake Bolton. And guys, hate to say it, but we're kind of getting exposed. Although, I don't know how Rüdiger's reading that. Aziz, sliding this one for Ray Menard. He's been our shining hope. Let's go. Ray Menard, can he score this? Can't. And then Asensio just completely mistimes it. Although... Ball back into the box and the header saved. We should have scored there. We've just conceded a penalty for handball. I just want to cry at this point. I really do. I don't know what's happened in this game, guys. We've just been absolutely slapped silly. And, well, Werner misses the penalty. That's typical of him. And watch them score again. I just can't deal with this passing. Back heel after back heel, goal after goal. You know what? I want to just get out of here. This is embarrassing. We need to figure out something else because, oh my God, was that embarrassing. 6-2 is how this game ends. Oh my God. That was one of the most depressing games of FIFA I've ever played. We need to spend that 160, 170 million because it clearly isn't enough. There needs to be big changes, maybe formation-wise as well. Let me know what you guys think. But man, so much happening now in this Harrogate series. Next episode, we'll be dropping that 160 million to make further improvements and uh, you know what we'll see what happens so far in this window tomori smithro acuna we need more signings